So last week we did um, a standing woman. This week I wanted to do a standing man. Um, and so just so we could have, it's, it's kind of a, like not a particularly revealing portrait, <laughs> which wasn't intentional. I went looking for some, but I, you know, this is the one that I thought was probably the most straightforward. Uh, so once again, I'm going to review for you how to do a one minute pose so you can start to get gesture and form and we'll do 10 one minutes. Uh, and then I'm going to spend a lot of time talking with you about measuring and structure. So I, I'm going to slow down. I want you to tell me if I'm going too fast. Um, I'm going to try and slow the instructions down so that you really understand the thought process. But I'm going to also ask for you not to jump ahead unless you really, uh, unless you really know what you're doing. It is worth it to kind of follow this process because the measuring process here is going to work for you everywhere. My job, you know, we started, we all started this process with a grid, but the grid is a crutch. Also, it's a pain in the ass because it doesn't work if you don't have exact right proportions on everything and everybody's working differently. However, measuring works, right? It totally works. Um, so let's start with gesture. Once again, what do we not have time for when we're doing a one minute pose? Details. Details, like? The thick eyes, the features of the face, the yep. fingers. Fingers, toes, really not very much, not even proportions. We don't really have time for that. So I'm going to show you gesture lines. I've gotten, I might try to pull out some of my anatomy stuff. So I'm going to show you the gesture lines. Here they are. And that means, hold on, let's see it so. This is wonderful practice. And also, I want to credit you guys. A lot of you have been, some of you are new, some of you have been doing this a while. I appreciate where you're at in this process. If you're feeling frustrated and like things are hard, those of you who've been doing this a while, I want you to remember that it is hard. Right, and so every time you grow up a level and your understanding of how drawing and, and painting works, there's gonna be this period of struggle beforehand. So I just wanna let you know, if that's how you feel, you're probably in the right, right frame of mind. So I'm gonna start by just drawing. You can do this with me if you want to, right? This is kind of a bigger um, drawing that I'm used to doing, but what the heck. So here's the head, the position of the head. Here's the position of the shoulder blades. Here's this arm and the hand. Here's this shoulder and the hand. Look how huge that hand is, right? Kind of here is the knee and the foot. Here is the other foot. Right, and then we really have time to insert circles and cylinders is what I like to think of them as. So there's a head, the neck is like a cylinder, the circles, with the joints. Remember always, Observe some things about this figure since we're going to return to it. Here's the kind of tin can, can of the chest. And then here's the joints. Now that doesn't mean yours has to look exactly like mine. <laughs> well, that really looks like a flipper there. Um, hello. Right. Maybe that's all I have time for. So observe a couple things. This whole side of the body, this and this, are closer to us, right? So they're going to be bigger when we really start to draw them. This, the hands are huge here, 
because they're both, even though this hand is on the other side of the body, the, the arm is on the other side of the body and the shoulder is, the hand is coming forward. So anything that's coming forward is bigger. This whole half is bigger. Look at how much bigger and wider this leg is, right? Than this one. So keep that in mind as you're doing it. But I'm not so worried about that. I mean, maybe I can do that. Not so worried about that in the gesture. <laughs> yeah, see, that's too big. But um, I'm not so worried about that in the gesture. But when we start to measure, this is going to become important. So uh, go ahead and send that through if you want to. Um, I'll take a picture as well. It's because I think it's always good to review the idea of gesture. Gesture is important because it helps us understand the sort of gravity of the pose. So getting these lines, these shoulders going the right direction, getting the legs going the right direction, getting the arms, the sort of shape, those things can change subtly. Um, not bad, Annika. I want you to not to worry so much about crossing over lines here. You guys can totally scribble these if you want to. It's more important to kind of get that gesture around. Very nice. Um, I'm going to take a picture of this so we've got it here. All right. Everybody feeling ready for one minute? Hi, Sonny. Like his feet on that one. Are we feeling ready for the one minute? Ready? <laughs> well, ready or not, here they come. <laughs> here. Share the screen. Ah, there I am. Let's call it up again. Here we go. Okay, here we are in our line of action. We want only nude models. Why do we want only nude models? So we can see the physical features like muscles and bones. Yeah, it's easier to see it, isn't it? If we can do that. We're gonna go 60 seconds for each one. Are you guys ready? Yes. Let's do it. Right. You, you might think you're ready and then the first one comes and you're like holy hell <laughs> notice that the torso is very often um uh divided into two sections kind of the, where the rib cage is and where the um and where the sort of floating area between the spine it's interesting. That will happen. So it's kind of here. This particular position. There is also, although this is a hard zone, it's also really freeing to get into. Awesome. Notice once again here and then here, there. I like to think of like kind of the hips joints and the shoulder joints, the direction that they're going, kind of the key. I'm gonna do about five of these and I'm gonna go look for something that people told. I'm kidding, I made this too all long. You might find that the first couple you can't like get all the way through. Ah, here's our friend. Different pose.
Next time, Emma, if you remind me, if you can remind me in August about mental health week, I can probably just schedule some classes so that we don't have to do a special thing. Just a thought. I know with all the other things you have to do, right? Um, well, I'm not involved in it, um, so it was just, um, I'm, I'm not organizing it. I was I'll more involved last year. Ah. Okay. Well, then let's just teach the organizers to be quicker on the draw. That's a Washington bird. What's that? That bird was a Washington bird. A Washington, meaning the cardinal? That one singing right now. Is a cardinal or a Washington? Is no, it because I'm painting instead of looking at him. So I don't know. Uh, no, it was a blue tape. I think. I think I'm not. I'm not sure. I love that. Wonderful. What a wonderful. For those of you who wonder how to handle a pose like this, I usually do the things that are in front first, and then sketch behind. I don't care if my lines cross over. I'm more interested just in seeing how they interact with each other. I just love her. She has a really, she, what's nice about Betsy, she has a really nice posture. Uh, her head, is, her neck is often kind of up off her head, and you'll notice most models, sometimes it's the pose, but a lot of the times it's just people kind of sunk in. And she has this really straight up and down thing going that's kind of neat. See her head rises above her shoulders. Most models don't do that. Trying to figure out if this guy was lying down or not, but I think he actually is. No, he is lying he's, down. No, he's hanging. Are you sure? I'm yeah, not sure. Yes. I mean, I see it, but I know, but I've well, had. The penis is hanging, so he's hanging. Oh, good point. Actually, yeah. Well, but he could just have a slight, well, you know. No, he's definitely hanging. He was only there for a few seconds, I'm sure. There is a set of um, hanging ones where the woman, it looks like you're hanging, but the woman's actually on the floor in this series. Um, and so it's very confusing to look at because the body actually, the angles are very different when you're not actually hanging, but you're kind of producing the illusion of hanging. She was laying on the ground, right? You can be this. Yeah. So seven. It might be a good one for charcoal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My one sort of issue with these is how hairless everybody and skinny everybody is. Mostly white, but they're trying to do a little bit better with that last one. 
I noticed I had another website I could get, I subscribed to, to get models for you guys. And then all of a sudden, like they stopped, they pulled the nudes out. Now it's all just clothes people. I don't know what happened. Nine. Nice look at shoulder blades. We'll go to seated next week, seated pose, talk about that. Yeah, see how mostly the face kind of sinks below the shoulder blades? You can even see it on this position. Last one. Notice sometimes it's harder to get into. Uh, this at the beginning, notice how you feel at the end. Sometimes it's easy to get into it. Sometimes it's hard. Oh, that was Hermes. Oh, did you hear him? I thought it was your girl. No, no, she's quiet. He's the loud. He's the loud one. You hear that? He's off. He's after something. He's bored. He gets easily bored. And he then wants he wants to be entertained. And I'm like, not in the middle of class, dude. We have a conversation about kibble every time. Okay. But, uh, 11 then. No, 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 we're stopping here, we're stopping. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, let me stop this here. Um, all right. So send over your favorite piece of, of your drawing or, or some of, or all of your drawings if you want. Send me over something. This is not- On the subject of cats, Leah, I've got a bit of a problem here. Yes. Oh. Unity. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to set the spotlight so you can really see it. Those little stinkers are so cute. They like to get involved in whatever it is you're doing. Yeah? They do. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can show you what's happening <laughs> here. Oh, this what? is one of the kittens you had, Emma. Yeah. And now all the big and fat now. He's a year old now. And you have two, right? Yeah. What's his name? This one's called Sona. Sona. It's a boy. Yeah, we're both boys. Yeah. yeah. These are just so, red. I feel like these are great. Here, I'll send mine over too. I kind of like them. I can't send you any because the cat's sitting on them. Ah. Well, I hope it's not charcoal. So, uh, yes, um, so you are using newsprint, Annika? Yeah. You're going to find it very frustrating to use pencil on newsprint. Yeah, I only did it for these drawings. I'm not going to do it for the other one. I don't have that much of good paper for drawings. Yeah, yeah, it's the paper. I just did it for the sketches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's always, I just wanted to let you know, that's like part of, if you have frustration. Oh, somebody wants to say hello to you guys, too. Let's see. I'm, Emma, I'm going to switch out. Here we go. And here is Simo. Hello. I can't quite see him. Wait, I know. There we go. Hello, homies. Hello. Who is big? <laughs> He's so huge. Hello. 
meow. He has this whiny little, like Mooka has no meow at all. I mean, she's the quietest, like most blunt, but he is just bratty. You're bratty. You're like, pay attention to me. I might have to put him outside. We'll see how it goes. Um, Anybody else cats eat cucumber? No, I've never heard of that. But it's probably good for them. So it's good for, for them to eat some vegetables. Hermes eats kale. He's obsessed with any green vegetable he can find. And if I wow, can- Wow, that's I really good. Bananas. You should, uh, you know, there's some uh, grass you can get, Leo, some seeds, you know. Oh, yeah. Grass, grass seeds. That he pro he's, probably, uh, he's probably looking for that. Yeah. Um, I He was born next to a cave, kale field, so I feel like it's just a smell thing. Ah, uh, it reminds him. Christina, nice. Coming along. Emma, nice. Good job, you guys. These are fun, aren't they? Um, they get us in the zone. What we're really trying to do with our one minutes is A, start to be able to learn to essentialize, to simplify, right? It's so hard to simplify. And this forces us into simplification that's kind of an all over thing. So it forces you to look at different things as you're going to be beginning to analyze the body. And we're going to, do it, you know, it's enough of it. So, um, um, there's enough of uh, this that carries over into the longer poses that I like to just keep the gesture. Okay, so let's try. Here, I'm going to remove the spotlight. All right, so let's go back and let's do a few initial measurements first. Does anybody want to guess? How many heads down this guy is? How many heads tall? Remember how to do that? You're gonna hold your arm out. Here, hold on. Let me actually add the spotlight for this. You're gonna hold your arm out straight, right? With your pencil or your finger, and you're going to I think six. Yeah, yeah six. Uh, normally, the guy, if a person, this guy is standing straight up, he'd probably be a little bit taller. But, you know, his legs are spread apart and he's kind of like shortened uh, vertically by that. Um, he's got a little bit more height. We'll talk about the envelope today because I think this is a good to talk about the envelope. You're all like, what do you mean? The envelope, for gosh sakes. All right. So, if this guy is one, one, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, it looks like a little bit. One, two, four, five, six, uh, six and a half, right? Six and a half heads. Um, the other thing to think about this, because his features are kind of so spread out, it's going to be hard to place them directly. So one of the things that also really helps is to do what we call the envelope. And that means measuring angles to the outside edges of things. See that? So this works like this. Let me put my head up there so you can see me. This works. You can see the position of my body. My arm is straight. Whoops. Sorry. My arm is straight. But I'm checking my measurements. So when I go in and I, I start to place these things, if I keep my arm straight and I check the angle, I can come over here and check the angle on my drawing. I want to make sure not to bend my arm during this process. And I also want to make sure not to touch the paper. Because if I touch the paper, I change the angle. So the idea is to kind of drift above. There's a lot of covering, right, as we're doing this. It's not important right at this moment. It's going to become important. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is add a um, line here, right from his chin right down uh, 
And of course, right, you can't like these. Sorry, I'm working around a computer. It's a little awkward. We're going to use the plumb line, right, which is the center of his face to see what's kind of in front and what's to the side. So, of course, you can't do this, right? Like you, like I can sketch this. You guys are going to have to, these are visual markers for you to make it easier to see the measuring. But ultimately, of course, you can't like draw this on a person, right? So I'm just uh, taking advantage of the medium to be able to show you these markings. Um, so my first step when I come over here is going to be to determine randomly the size of the head. Okay, so I'm not trying to make it this size. I'm just going to make it whatever size I want. And then I'm going to come down one, one, two, three, four. Here, hold on. Let me remove this. You can really Leah, see. You, seem yeah. to have pinned, you seem to have pinned two screens. Yeah, I have. Uh, you've unpinned it. I have because I was trying to get you to see what my arm was doing. Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry. Were you not watching that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, so six and a half, right? So this is really important. If you don't get this right, you're not going to be able to get anything else right. And the other thing I might check since I'm here is one, two, three. I want to make sure I have room for three heads. I just have room. So I want to make sure I'm checking how far out this goes by using the head. So now that I've established the head, that's what I use to measure. I do not use anything else right now to measure. I only use the head to measure. Okay, give me one second. I'll let you guys catch up. Someone has to go out. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll take a picture of this so you can see what he's doing. Hold on. Yeah, go on, do it again. Come on, Herms, Herms. There he is. Come here. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Okay. So once I've done this, then I can create my mostly egg-shaped head. Right, we can see a little bit of the side of the head, but not so much. And I can change that later. Uh, and I can see that, for example, um, by the second head is kind of where the hands right is on this side. The third head is probably where the belly button is. I'm kind of putting the curve down here. The fourth head definitely is where the leg intersects, you know, mid thigh. The fifth head, the knee is kind of, wait, it doesn't intersect, sorry. It doesn't It comes over here, mid thigh, right? And then it, the knee stops right in the middle of head five. The narrowing of the calf, the lower calf, happens at about six. One. No, 
how to do that. Yeah. It's seven. There we go. And then basically, this whole bottom part is just this. If you want to, you can sketch in this plumb line. You can see it better. So I've got little marks here kind of showing me where parts of the body are landing. This is the hand here. This is the belly button here. Here's the thigh, which is on this side right of the line. The plumb line is like super helpful. And then I can add it. Now I can add in my gesture. So right below here is that shoulder line. So now my gesture comes into play more and I can make something that's a little bit more accurate. Gesture comes down here, right? That's kind of through the center of the body, right? If I look over here, I can see that this line really interacts Top of the head. And then kind of straight until. And you'll see how big the feet are. Right? And then the same over here. And we'll determine, don't worry, we're going to do some more measuring to make sure. And I'll get rid of this at some point where we need to see this detail. So now we have a kind of more, I'm using these to help me place these lines. So that's what I'd like to see you guys do now and send that over. I'm surprised, Emma, that you're not doing uh, mental health week. Is it just because you don't have the time? Um, no, I'm just not. Other people are organizing it. Right. So go ahead and send it to me when you've got these lines down. This might feel annoying to you. You might feel annoyed by this. Later, you're going to thank me so hard. <laughs> Be like, there is no other way to think about this than this way. I mean, yes, there are other ways to think about it, but they require a lot more correcting and a lot more time consuming problem solving. If you can get this into your head, One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. Looks good, Ani. Looks pretty good. Yep. Good job. Good job. Two. Two. Uh, let's see. Hello. Hello. Yeah, looks nice. You can see Ani's uh, lines are a lot neater. Um, I'm gonna wait for a couple more to come in before I move on. Ani, if you want to, you can move on if you think you know kind of the next stage. Otherwise, just double check. Actually, what you can do, and what I might do as well, is double check. I'll show you how to check my 
goals. So now I'm like, there's a couple of things I'm going to do to make sure I've got things in the right places. Number one, I'm going to use the head to see how wide out things are. So I can see that head three kind of lines up with the wrist here. So now I'm going to check from one, two, it's like two and a half heads to the wrist. One, two, yeah, that's pretty good. So I know that that wrist is generally that wide out. Um, I'm going to check and see how wide out the shoulder goes this way. From the line in the middle, the shoulder goes exactly one head out on the side. You see this? I'm doing this and going here. I can kind of check where my elbow goes. Nothing goes farther than here. Here, here. That looks pretty good. So those are things I can use. Um, and I can use the head because I've already established the head as my base sense of measurement. Once I get other things in place, I can use other things, but I need to make sure that those things match with the head. And then the next thing I can do is kind of check and see. So here I will, I'm going to put my, I know it's going to be a little difficult for you guys to see for a second, but I want you to watch this process. I'm holding my arm out straight. You can see now my pencil here. So keeping my arm straight, I'm coming over here and I'm checking is the angle correct from the top of the head to the pan and it looks pretty good. Notice I'm not touching the paper and I'm not bending my arm because if I change the length of my arm, it changes the angle. Um, uh, and I can do this. And I also notice that this needs to come out a little bit too. So this is what we call the envelope. And that means if I'm drawing like an envelope sized shape, not further, the thing needs to come out further. That's what I learned from this. So here we go. If I, can, if I were to draw a, a special envelope shape for this figure, that it would fit inside, right? This is an envelope. So it's kind of the outside shapes of things. This is what people find really tedious. But if you don't learn to do this, you're, uh, you're kind of flying blind. Um, so I'm checking. I'm also checking from the middle here. One, two. Three. I can see from the middle line here, it's three heads across to the heel. I want to make sure. One, two, three. Okay, I have him a little too far out. A little too far out. Should be about here. One, two, three. Yep. And that means my hand has to be a little bit in. There we go. Okay, so that gesture is a little bit better. So you see how I'm adjusting that to make sure things are in relation to each other. Also, I think this has to come up a little bit more. I'll be able to sketch that because I can see a pretty big shape here. Yeah, let me check the, I can also use it to check the actual angles. Oh yeah, look at that. So you see how mine is up and you see how mine is down? Let me show you that again. Watch this. As I come over here, see how much further up I need to bring my arm. Come up here angle needs to shift out. And I could tell that because I could tell that because I could see there was more space here than I was giving myself. I could already see by looking in here. All right, sorry, let me take a look. What you got? All right. Hang on, Emma. Six. Okay, this is too short, Emma. So once again, you went too quickly. One, two, this is six and a half. And yours is, maybe I'm missing this. Let me try it again. Five, six, 
this. Oh, never mind. It's all right. Um, Yeah, looks in pretty good shape. Let's see one. Your elbow needs to come out just a little bit further to the left. And I don't think this shoulder is in the right place. So take a look at how that lines up. It should be a little closer in, I think. This arm is huge. Look at where it comes and look that it comes into the body like this, right? Once again, it's that confounding this section, which is where the shoulder meets the armpit. It's always way bigger than you think it is. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Anybody else want to send theirs in? I'll wait a minute. If you think you've got it, if you think you've got it, you can jump ahead, but um, I'm really trying to hammer in measuring right now. So if you don't think your measuring is right, take your time. I know it feels like it's taking longer to get to the drawing, but you've seen how fast I can do this. You can do this really fast once you get good at it. Once you start to get it, there's a natural logic to it that is like unbeatable. I mean, there's you can't go wrong. And that's the beauty of it. People who are guessing are constantly going wrong and then having to resolve things um, in a much more complicated way. You can start this way. Okay, Annika, you're going uh, too far too fast, but hold on, let me see. I said that two, four, five, six, six and a half. Okay, height is good. This is way too narrow. This is too narrow. One, one, two, three. Foot is too small. Yeah, but it's also turn. Long, right? So look at torso's too long. This line in here comes all the way up to this head. Yeah. Yep. So so pain. Yeah. So anyway, and you can do things like how many heads out is it one It's like one and a half heads out that kind of thing as you're starting to place things. All right, I'm going to start unless somebody is going to tell me no I'm going to start sketching in the figure because I can see that some of you are doing that. Um, does anybody else have serious questions. I mean, you can ask questions, of course, anytime. Notice that in this particular case, the head, the neck kind of comes in below uh uh it comes a the neck is wider and it comes in below the shoulder mm. right so the shoulder is a little skinny the neck comes in here like this and then it kind of comes up his head his head is kind of punched right so there's that happening there and then here from where the neck and the head and the shoulder meet that's where this shoulder comes at out and this is kind of the size of the shoulder blade as we're and then at the shoulder blade kind of comes there's this kind of indent so really notice this oops sorry let me make this let me remove this spotlight so you can see better so you see what i'm saying here neck comes down on this side necks are always thicker than we think and up here and because the shoulders are kind of hunched up here the shoulder the neck and the skull all meet in one place and then look at how big that shoulder is because this is the shoulder that's coming towards us you know the elbow is kind of like just below And then the wrist is kind of literally right at the headline down here. I 
I also really love figure drawing for how it teaches us when to do what, right? Like people get obsessed with things like fingers and hands and you really shouldn't. Let me take a picture. To me, it's so funny. Like I said, although this may feel tedious, to me, this is like such a relief in the way to handle this handle drawings. I'm like, oh, thank God. I'm not just having to guess. I can I can create measurements that work for me. I may have to thin that arm out a little bit. Remember, this and this are, are, are hugely uh, let's see here. No, really it's a head. The haunch line here comes all the way up to head three, and it's literally one head on the side. Wide. So I can know that I'm starting that. That starts here. Okay. And then the belly kind of comes in. Here like this. Here is that like sort of haunch line defining. And if you're, if this start, if your gesture starts to get into your way, you can get rid of it, right? Over here, let's see. That's one. That's two. It's really two heads across. By the way, you guys are doing great. I'm taking pictures. Send it along if you want to. I'm trying to take the step by steps, like seriously. So if you're going a little slower, that's also okay. Cool. So I found it a little bit easier, it's a little bit of a lost edge here, to find this edge and then come in to make that line of the leg on this side to kind of place it. I almost always find it easier. There's some wonderful, interesting shadows here. To find the outer edges of something before I go into the inner edges. I 
and I'm like, okay, is this right? Can I double check this height? The yep, torso is very slender. I think I have that right. I may have to adjust that a little bit. But now I feel confident that I can adjust this. Even this, I have to find where this is. I feel confident that I can adjust this. Without having to redo everything. I'm not exactly sure I have this right, but I know I can fix that. I know it's in basically the right places. So also when you start to get into some of these angles, they look kind of weird. Like this whole way his leg is kind of pushing in and the arm are pushing into the side looks a little bit odd. No shape. This needs to even be even wider than I had it, which means you kind of have to thin out on. You may have to thin out on either side because his arm, his body, still thin. Real intellectual challenge to get what's actually happening versus what your left brain wants to tell you is happening. Not so sure I entirely got that foot right, but I got it enough. What I'd like to do is be able to get us these enough in place so I can remove this one and put on the fresh sheet so we can see. Uh, I'm going to check this. Annika, leg is, this leg is way too thin. I'll tell you right now. This arm needs to be thicker. This leg needs to be thicker. Which one? The front one. The one I'm showing, the one I'm pointing to. I can see it now. This one. Okay. Anik, same with you. Leah, would you be able to send the picture with the thumb line uh, and the um, markings? Because... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank Let you. Now, where is it? I had it here. I was prepared. And then what did I do? Hair miss came. <laughs> came and messed it all up. Yeah, here, hold on. Let me. Um, where is it? Really? You know, it bothers me when I know I did it. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here it is. All right. We're going to remove that. There we go. How's that?
I'm going to take a picture with the sketch of everything. Emma, I'm going to say, looks, th this arm looks odd. It doesn't look like it's hanging right. It, I think it comes down more at an angle, Emma, and it's, it's a little bit wider here. You have a kind of like hanging sort of loose like a rag doll. Oops. Keep trying to send you guys messages. Uh, yeah. If you look at this leg, you'll see that it's, um, this is the thigh. Here's the same place on the thigh. This thigh is pretty significantly bigger. Christina, one. Looks like something's off about his legs, right? Yes, because this is this is six and a half. Yeah, I, I thought I counted those, but and um, it's two and a half, and you made it six. So number oh. one, draw. I want you to um, sketch the line down the middle of here. You need to relook at these dimensions. So this foot needs to come down. The ankle here is where you have the foot. Oh, if I need to make him taller. Okay, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. You're, that will totally mess you up, all right? You need to add another half a foot down for the foot. Please don't say make him taller. You're gonna start mucking with him everywhere. Okay. That's gonna mess, no, don't make him taller. You're just gonna need to add an extra half a foot, half a head down here to include his feet. Okay. So I'm gonna see a picture of that. Also, he's, I believe, way too slanted. Is he? So, you were, so you've got him leaning way too far this way, draw the plumb line down through the middle of his chin so you can see how close the body is to that plumb line. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send this over so you guys can see it. And then I'm going to put this back on. So Christina, look at those measurements. You'll see it. Draw the plumb line through the middle of the chin and you're going to see and then add the extra head length on and you're going to see where you're off. But good try. Anyway, good try. Not that you're not. It's hard. At the beginning, it's hard. Later, it's like, oh my God. This is the only way. Mm. I'm a. Oh, what did you guys do to my water? Kiddo. Sorry, please. You did it.
Oh. Oh, I No voy a cortar la grama porque está bien. Sí, es, no, es, no, no es bien, bueno. ¿verdad? No sé. Bueno, enfrente tampoco no corté porque está muy delgado. Ah. Sí. Es que quizás. Es que el hombre también la ha arreglado. ¿Cómo se siente? Quizás será que no, no eran semillas de, de sombra. Quizás. 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 Puede ser. Ustedes las pusieron pero no sé, sí, creo. Sí, duró un rato, pero de ahí como... Sí, que, es que... Como pues, en este tiempo viene la temporada de la semilla, uh -huh. el otro mes viene, por eso se pone así la grama, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Echando la semilla, a la semana o dos semanas se lo pone todo, ¿verdad? Sí, creo que en el invierno no, no importa el tipo Ajá. de grama, pero en el verano sí. necesitamos quizás el grama de sombra. Sí. Ok, entonces yo lo voy a blog. Gracias, señor. Mucha hoja y montecito. Gracias. Okay. Sí, sí. Okay, y bye. muchas gracias para la otra vez. Okay, bye. Gracias. Sandra, there is no end to your linguistic skills. I'm so <laughs> impressed. Now I'm waiting for you to have the same conversation with the guy and with your Korean. Uh, uh, my <laughs> Korean is not as good as my Spanish. <laughs> your Spanish is amazing. It's beautiful. It's uh yeah, I feel very comfortable in Spanish. It's my best language after French and English. Um, and it's very convenient in America. Actually, I learned it in America. Yeah, it's easy to learn in America, isn't it? It's it's very, I like the sound of it a lot better than Spanish from Spain, which sounded harsher. But now I kind of like the Spanish from Spain as well. But it's, but it's very convenient because these people are very appreciative if you speak. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, this is a gardener. And, um, They're very kind to me. Last week they helped me fix the cat netting and um, and then I broke a table while moving it and they fixed that. Huh. Uh, I mean, I gave them extra money, but, but you know, that was not the job at all. It's very nice. Of them. It's really wonderful to hear you do that. Okay, so one of the things I want you guys to notice here is that This shoulder, this arm kind of starts a little bit lower. The shoulder on this side is pretty. Oh, I'm being summoned. As always. <laughs> Don't worry about drawing all the fingers. Start by getting the kind of shape of the hand, the outer shape of the hand. Notice how kind of bones, bone structures intersect here. Um, I actually taught a class on drawing hands. It is in the, and I'll probably do the same for you guys later here. Where's Rashmi, by the way? Wherever you are, Rashmi, we miss you. Um, but notice how I'm really just kind of getting the outer shapes of the things. And I'm noticing how this forearm kind of intercepts the back arm here, right? That's the real key to this position. And in fact, I think I need to bring that a little bit forward. Yeah. So there's a little tiny triangle of light there that indicates the bottom of the arm. We can see this much of the shoulder and then the forearm really cuts in front of it. And then the wrist of the hand 
really cuts in front of the forearm. They, they intersect with each other in a way that probably doesn't feel exactly right. Just because I've taken down the measurements, you still have them and you should still be using them. Particularly the way this arm, notice it starts wide and gets kind of narrower as we get to the elbow joint. And then there's this kind of little straight bit and then I kind of curve out. Same thing happens with the legs. Yeah, so we'll definitely do one lesson at least on drawing hands and maybe try one on drawing feet too. But in the meantime, just do your best. Also, it's going to help a lot to get the lights and darks in this back knee, back leg, sorry. Also, to kind of know what's the side, and what's the bottom, can I help? I'm going to take a close up of that back foot so you can really see it. It's a little tough to see. You can really see on this foot all the different plane changes because there's some fantastic light. Every time you see a light area, that means there's a shift in the direction of the foot. We're going from the side to the bottom or the edge to the side. Also, the feet are huge. So much bigger. I've noticed that to make sure not to pull, this helps shape uh, to pull this line back a bit so that we've got it helps to shape and not bring it too far in. It's pretty easy to do that. So interesting. Isn't it? And then once you've got to that place, you can start adding in the darks. In your lights. Typically this back leg is gonna make a big old difference.
Christina, do you understand why when I say make him taller will confuse you? Why you, do you understand why that's problematic? Mm -hmm. Because you're going to start making adjustments everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you cannot. So saying make him taller is like saying, OK, he's going to be taller here, taller here, taller here. Um, it, it is true that a line that you add might make him taller, but that's not the goal because that'll start getting you to second guess your line there. Sure. It's really just, oh, nope, the foot is actually just down here. It's not about making him taller or not. It's not about making the edge taller. It's just looking at one thing in kind of relation to the other. I adjusted him, if you wouldn't mind taking a look. Send it over. Does it look better to you? A really awkward pose, but it seems right. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't know really. Let's see. You're still at six heads, honey. Three, oh. five. You're still at six heads. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's correct that first. So I want you to instead of adjusting, so you're not. I can see what you're doing, but you if you don't have the vertical distance, you don't have anything right. So he is six and a half heads down. This is where the ankle is where your the bottom of your foot is. Where the bottom of your foot is, is where the ankle needs to be. And then okay. the foot comes below. And then that means this foot comes down. So that's what's gonna get those things correct. Okay. He's longer. Remember, it's always vertical distance first. See how your guy looks short and stocky and mine looks longer and leaner? Yeah. Yeah. Is that taller? I'm not exactly sure that's the word I use for it, but he's longer. The problem with figure drawing also, or the tendency, is that it's easy to get things sort of right and it looks good enough. Um, and then it's really tempting to not have to try and finish, right? Because it's still a fairly reasonable representation of a human. But yeah. you want to get out of that zone because it's not very respectful to draw something and draw it poorly, to not get it, right? Like it's kind of like it's kind of like, wow, if I don't get him, I'm not really looking at who this person is and how they are interacting with gravity in the world. So I like to think of it as a respect thing. For your subject. Notice I'm kind of coming in here and darkening some places. Uh, I have figure modeled before. If you're an artist, you generally end up sort of modeling for somebody. And it's a really profound experience to have people looking at you to evaluate you for a drawing. Um, all of the bullshit about, um, how do I say it? About, uh, um, you know, how you look, are you pretty or you're ugly? All of that is completely goes away um, as people are like, hmm. Uh, and it's really, it's, it's a much more interesting way to be evaluated. To be looked at, it feels like to be seen. What I'm trying to add is hair in. Not the face really, but the hair might have it. Yeah. Better. Once you do it, you yourself will become addicted to it. This idea of actually evaluating something, somebody based on what they actually are rather than what you're projecting onto them.
It's pretty profound. Oh, that looks better. Here. You can see I'm starting to add in my darks and it's helping me place things. So there's a point where sh shading, the sort of more dramatic shading, will help you kind of do that shaping. Okay. Uh, Emma, the bottom of the foot below this this foot here, believe it or not, is slightly angled up from the ankle, so they're not exactly lined up. Um, so bring this foot up a little bit. That the arm still looks like it's just hanging there, like a lifeless rag. It does not look like he's pushing it back, right? It looks like it's flopping. So I think your angle is wrong. I think you're you're up here too much. And it should be down a little bit more. And this is down as well. This gets wider here and narrower. 
as we get closer to the uh, to the wrist. Also, but nice and general, nice structure. I think it might be a little bit thick here too, but let's see. One, five, six. Okay, that's better. This leg. So, uh, Christina, the next thing you're going to need to check mm -hmm. is that, and I'm going to go back to this so you can really see it. This foot uh -huh. is from the plumb line. Uh, one, two, three, let's see. One, two, three heads on the side, the heel. So from the plumb line, which is here, mm -hmm. three heads. I'm too far out, huh? You're too close in. Oh, I see. Hang on. Also, the foot, I want you to see this, the foot is nearly the size of the head. Foot is almost the size of the head. Same with the hands. Notice I'm not doing very much with the hands except getting kind of shading in. The hands are absolutely the side, the length of the head. In this case, his beard comes down, makes this head a little bit longer, I think. I'm not getting too much into it. We're doing portraits later in the year. Uh, Anik, I think the arm, well, that's okay. I cannot get this, this leg, <laughs> simply yeah, the, yeah. So the, the here's back one. What you need to do, I'm going to take a close up. You need to go back to the thing, mm -hmm. place things. All right, I'm going to take a close up of this and then I'm going to show it to you. So, the fingers here is head two, right? And mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Annika, watch this because your hands are way too small. Uh, everything else is uh, something off about the legs too, but I'll put that, uh, I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. Let me deal with Onyx first. So notice that this mm -hmm. halfway point right here, there's a little triangle here, 
which defines the bottom mm -hmm. of the arm and the edge of the hand. Mm -hmm. So get that in first. Then you're going to darken the back arm, right? And the forearm and the hand. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. It's also, like more slanting than straight, like in my picture. Well, and thicker than you think. Also, yep. also here at head two on this side, it's one head over to this triangle of dark, and then the arm comes all the way here. It comes in, it's thicker here. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Annika, you're, there's something wrong with the measurements here. Let me, one, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. This leg is way too short, Annika. I don't know what happened, but you lost your proportions. Two, three, four, five, six. Where the bottom of your foot is, is where this angle is, Annika. When you put the bottom of your foot here, it's six and a half. So the ankle comes to where the bottom of your current foot is, and then the leg it comes down farther. The the foot comes underneath that, like half a half a head. And then that will help you get the actual proper length. Uh oh, Anik, you've done the same thing. Double check where your foot is. I'm pretty sure your leg is a little too short. Four, five, six. The foot comes below head six. I missed that six and a half though. So I don't agree. Because I measured it several times. And his leg is turned away because he's like a discus throw or something. So you don't give me that. Maybe I measured it. I'm, but I'm looking at it and I'm measuring it. Here, hold on. Okay. One, well, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see your point. All right. Then there's something else that's off. You're right. You're right. I can see it now. It's an incredibly weird pose because I think, okay. it, I think he's like thrown something. So his foot is off. Don't blame the pose. Don't blame the pose. It's the draw. Hey, I'm not blaming anything. I'm just saying that it's weird that his foot is turned away in that pose. But every pose is weird. Every pose is something like that. So yeah, don't talk yourself it's out of it. Happen. Right. So let me figure out what's going on here. I think, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, here's the problem. All right. I want you to look at this area. Anika, Anik, Anika, which is one, yeah. three heads down. Yeah. So look at what's happening here because that's where this is off. Your leg is down too low. This line of the upper leg comes right in to head three, line up with head three, and it's about one head width is where it starts. Mm. Okay. You don't have that happening. Also, um, so you've made him thick, and then I think your knee is in the wrong place too. Here, hold on. One, two, three, four, four and a half. No, this is not right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, All right. Yeah, something is off about where you placed this on a on a cut you. So double check. You can you can kind of run your lines this way, mm -hmm. this rectangle to see where that sits between head three and head four. Okay. Good job, though, you guys. I appreciate the struggle. There you go, Christina. That's better. Gosh, this drawing is hard. <laughs> Six. Yes. Okay. So now. 
just looking. So one of the reasons that he looks like he's stretched out is that you have the leg going this way. And really this bottom part of the leg is straight. Oh yeah, oh, you're right. From the knee. So that's gonna help a lot to lengthen. So erase this part. Okay. Uh, this part looks better to me. Hand is much too small. The hand is like almost the size of the head from here, from wrist to fingers. So and the hands, is it in the right place though? Looking. Um, it's kind of lined up in this spot between head three and head four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, it's not going out, it's going down a little bit. Not to be picky, just I'm gonna be picky. No, 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 be picky. Be picky. I draw I draw all the time. I doodle and draw, and sometimes they look like the person I'm drawing, but 97% of the time it doesn't. Because you don't measure. So now I'm teaching you a different way. <laughs> yes, so please. none of you measure. <laughs> well, no, so I don't measure. measure because nobody knows, and to be fair, when I started, I didn't either. But what I quickly learned, and uh, and you know, you know, uh, 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 Diana is a good, but she doesn't measure really. I mean, she sort of measures because she kind of has an idea after doing it a lot of time. And she sometimes get it, it works for her 90% of the time, and then 10% of the time it doesn't. Like she has to go back, she has to work really hard to go back and figure out, this is, I, I love you, Diana, this is not a slam, it's just an observation. So, People don't teach themselves to do this. That's why I'm really hammering it. I am hammering it with a big hammer. Because <laughs> I want you to understand that if you structure like this, this is 100% of the time going to work. Not 90, not 80, not guessing, not uh, blaming the pose because it, it's weird. All poses are weird, right? It's not about the pose. When you're stuck in the weirdness of the pose, you are in left brain and you can't draw. When you're asking, do I need to make this taller or shorter? That's a left brain observation. It's not about taller or shorter, bigger or fatter, a weird pose or not. It's did I get that line right in relation to this line, in relation to this line, in relation to this line. It's about lines and shapes, darks and lights, things in relation to each other. Where is this? That's why we have a plumb line, right? That is like what it is. When you're moving into anything other than that, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Leah, I've corrected the foot and tried to correct the arm. Can you have a okay. look? Let me take a look. Um, the back foot looks good. The arm looks much better. I want you to look at something though. I think what you're missing, here, let me show you this. You're almost there with the arm. I'm gonna take my ruler to really emphasize this. I'm gonna show you what this line looks like. Here, here. I'm gonna do it like this. I want you to look at this arm in three pieces, right? How does it relate? Maybe I don't even have it right. Yeah, I don't even have it right. So I'm going to correct mine now so you can really see it. So your shoulder still rises up more, Emma. Look at this line. It's like a straight line and then a slight angle down. So this is the relationship that we want. From the head. Now, let me see if I can do this on mine to show you what I mean. And as you see, even I didn't get this right. So I'm going to get it right now. Mm -hmm. yep. So my shoulder comes down. It comes out a little bit. And then down. Right, so that slope of the shoulder comes up here. 
I know it doesn't seem like a lot. It's actually a huge shift in this figure because it kind of shows just a little bit more. It shows the shoulder connecting here and the arm turning off it. In this particular case, but you're close. You're really close. I mean, here's another thing that's interesting to think about. If I were to divide this, like I'm going to divide this in another way, just to show you how to think about sort of back and forth. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so oh, why? here's a neat, what? neat line. So look at this. This is the halfway point splitting the torso exactly in half. Right? Look at the difference. Look at the smallness of everything that's back here and the wideness. If I was, we were looking at this guy straight on, these two sides would be completely equal. But instead, this side, so this is like side, the other, the, the half of him. And this is the other half of him. Actually, in truth, that's like the side of him. This is the half, and then this is the side. So this is how I want you to think about the figure, half side. If we were looking at this, this, if we were looking at straight on, these two sides would be equal in size. But because we're not, there's a foreshortening happening. This is larger, this is smaller. We can still see the whole side, but it looks much more smaller and truncated, right? And we can still see none of the side is hidden to us. It just is smaller because it's farther back. I think that's the mind. What? See. Yeah, Ani, better. Better. Nice, 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 nice. Keep going. Fun. I'm just looking here. One. I still feel like, I still, Ani, feel like your leg is a little short, but I'm going to check it again. One. Oh, it totally is. Have you not lengthened his? Okay. So right now, the bottom of your foot mm -hmm. is here. You have his foot, the bottom of his foot here. That's really where his ankle is. We need another half head. So you need to erase the but uh, at the half head, it should it should be the toes or the or the heel. Take a look. Oops. We have to have a yeah. I need to double check because there is something 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 off with the, with the head. The, too short. The legs are too short. Although I, okay. I don't want to think about this. This is where you stopped the leg. This is where you mm -hmm. put the foot is down here. Okay. So let me take a picture right. so you can really see it. There. But that's an easy fix. Just put the ankle mm -hmm. here, erase the foot, and move it down. Mm -hmm. I'll try. Thank you. Right. You'll be shocked at how much more everything locks in down here. You were probably like, I don't understand why my guy looks so stocky. Why is that happening? It's gonna make a lot more sense. Holy cow, it's almost 10. Hey, Natalia, how's it going over there for you? First time back, a little brutal, eh? Yeah, maybe a bit rusty, <laughs> but it's fun. My measurements were a bit off, but I will send it to you. <laughs> I have, I did some fixing, but. Good, good, good. Yeah. 
the nice thing about the measurements is that you can still you'll notice it's easy to drift off even the initial measurements like your measurements will be right and then they'll be um and then they'll be off right and then you'll be like how did that happen because it's easy to drift because it's not that much space it's like a couple millimeters really makes a massive difference in likeness likeness of anything whether you're painting an apple by the way for anybody who didn't get to do last night's apple we had a really fun time painting this and i will put whoops there we go and i will post that later today so you can see it it was a really fun painting lesson We'll be doing, uh, I don't know what we'll be drawing tomorrow. I haven't decided yet, but we will be working in charcoal. Oh, we're probably going to do a car. And I'm going to pick a different one because some people did the exercise that I was going to have you do last week. So we're going to do a car of some kind in charcoal on Saturday. And then we're going to do on Sunday, Marie is doing rocky landscapes for September. Mm. And I am going to do more with cityscapes. Let me give you another cityscape to work on. Unless you guys are bored with cityscapes. I might try a street scene with a car. We'll see. If I can find one that's kind of manageable. Uh, not yeah. bad, Natalia. So I think his leg is too far. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the the vertical distance is good, actually, Natalia. So not too bad. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. I feel like so. Here's the area where you have to be a little bit careful, right? Make sure this line doesn't extend too far because if it extends too far, it it looks mm -hmm. uh, his torso looks shorter. So his torso is one, two, three, right, just below the third head. So mm -hmm. if, you bring this, if you round this out too much, which is what we want to do, because it's a nice round line, you kind of lose this little triangle of space. And then his torso looks shorter than it actually is. Here, I'm going to sketch this. See that little triangle here? Mm -hmm. Important to get that in below head three to show the length of him. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing a monkey. I sent it to you. Better. Uh, Christina, much better. You. Good. Good. Really? Only took two hours. <laughs> it took two hours, right? Just that's how long it takes. <gasps> that's how long it takes to get the measurements right. Oh, and you don't Sandra, great. Is this that charcoal technique? No, I haven't put any charcoal yet. This is just watercolor. Really great. This is great. I freaking love the, is it just wet? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You got his expression so intensely well. It's beautiful. Yes, he's scowling. It looks a bit sad. I haven't quite got the sadness, but I've got the scowling. Oh, you've got the sadness, <laughs> you've got the sadness all right. You totally have it. You nailed it. it I traced him. He's a, I found he's a capuchin monkey. Who is in a, in a northern beach in Brazil? So uh, I'm not doing the sand on his face because I don't even know how to start to. Right, it. don't even worry about that. That's not. That's okay. And that means that I don't know where the other nostril is if it's uh, even. You got it. You got, you got it though. You got it. You know I would tell you if something was off. It's on. You got it. I think you got the essential strokes. Um, I I think you actually got the emotional content beautifully. Bravo. Oh, good, because I loved his expression. He looks so grumpy. <laughs> yeah, can you blame him? Like, <laughs> it's probably grumpy on the humans, but maybe it's because he's got sand on his face. I don't know. All right, we are, believe it or not, at uh, nine at ten o'clock right now. Here, I'm gonna off this. Great work today, you guys. Really great work.
I can feel um, the force in which you are thinking and um, I can feel it. I can see the, and, and I know I'm sounding strong, but uh, I see you responding to the, you'll not find teachers who will help you this much. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you kind of fudge around on your own till you figure it out. I see you responding to direction really well. And I am proud of that for you. You are, you are going to be very good at this if you keep going. It's excellent. I appreciate it. Natalia, it is so nice to see you. We missed you so much. I really, I missed you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good oh, job, Matt. Annika, getting better, better, better. Yep. Torso. Now bring up this leg a little bit on this side and you'll see, anyway, you keep, you guys keep working, <laughs> keep working it, but very, very good work today. Uh, it's hard. It's the hardest thing. Well, lots of things are hard. Cars are hard. You know, fur is hard. Like lots of things are hard. So I human is probably the hardest. How much, um, I guess the human face is probably the hardest. Yeah, it just it depends, right? <laughs> Great work, but know that the more you do this, let's see. Ah, there you go, Emma. Now you're starting to get those relationships, right? Yeah, yeah, good, Ani. Good, 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 good. Excellent work, everybody. All right, so hopefully I'll see some of you this weekend. Uh, and if not, we'll see you next week for all the things. And. Um, uh, I will make sure to get Emma, you and Natalia the latest newsletter because I think it's a good one to promote the the beginning classes. You'll see it's not at the top, but it's the second. Actually, there's just pictures at the top that are painting pictures, but there's a description of what extra classes we're doing this month to entice new people to join. All right, we'll see you guys. Have a good week. Bye. 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 B